In today's video, we're going to unbox and playtest the new B-flat Infinity Channa by Archie Hardy, as well as their drone rate extenders. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, I just received a package from Mr. Jeremy Downs at Lone Star Piper. Find him at www.lonestarpiper.com. Uh, and I have no idea what this is. It's vaguely chanter shaped, but we're gonna find out because I don't know. So uh, out comes a pair of scissors. I don't even have my trusty little knife ready, but definitely needed to film this. All right, taking a look. What do we have here? We have an Infinity B-flat chanter. My goodness gracious, I have been crazily curious about this very thing for quite a long time. And what else do we have? Ah, we have some 3D drone extenders. So I've actually been planning for quite a little while now to turn my Robbies into a kind of dedicated B-flat set. I've had a number of events lately contact me to play in B-flat and uh, I don't know, I guess Jeremy can read my mind. Um, so I'm very excited to give this a whirl. So, uh, Jeremy, thank you. And, uh, yeah, so there'll be a full play test and review here shortly. Uh, but, uh, I just wanted to get the unboxing filmed. So, all right, we'll be back in a minute. As you just heard, this thing is coming in great. So again, this is the Hardy Infinity B-flat channer. Typically when I'm tuning a B-flat channer, I like to have a little bit of tape on every hole. It's a little bit different than my standard method, but in the moment, if I need to be in concert tuning, I tend to want to be able to, well, readily adjust any note quickly, including if one's going flat, I wanna be able to sharpen it. So I tend to start with a little bit of tape on every hole. It plays like a dream, but compared to all of the other B-flat solutions that I've previously talked about on the channel, this one is its just easier to play, it's easier to read, and it sounds more bagpipey. There's something about some of the older B-flat options that weren't quite there. They sounded as old-fashioned as, well, some of them were. I mean, uh, one of my main go-tos was an old Hardy, actually, a uh, chanter from the 60s that tended to pitch down, but the whole spacing was awkward, and it just, well, it kind of sounded old. This has a bright tone, it's going to cut through, it's going to do what you need it to do, and it tuned readily, so there you go. I wanted to take us in and take a look at the Hardy Infinity Channer, which you can see the logo right there, compared with my Shepherd Blackwood from about 2006 or so. We have my old Hardy Channer from the 60s, and then my McClellan B flat. So we have one standard pitch channer, one classic channer, and two dedicated B flat channers. So. I have all of these lined up against my table here. You can see I have the top hole aligned so we can kind of take a look at the finger spacing. The one second from the left, that's the old school one. Look at that finger spacing. It is really large. Wow, look at, look at how low. And again, that's not even a dedicated B flat channer. But what I really want to point out over here is the Shepherd Blackwood compared with the Infinity. Um, Guys, the finger spacing, if you're wanting to know, uh, uh, Shepard, I believe Mark III, Blackwood Channer, and the Hardy B Flat Infinity have basically identical hole sizes. I have some pipe cleaners actually in there right now so you can see the holes. You can see 
again, the spacing I've talked about in the past, look at how big the distance is between the holes on that old school Hardy. So now I've eliminated the Hardy so we can see the McClellan B flat. Let's get these holes aligned nicely. Now, I wanna note that this, the hole for F and the hole for C, I have purposely modified to be in equal temperament. Uh, bagpipe temperament is uh, different than standard temperament, and that's the distance between the pitches of the notes. In any case, I needed the McClellan to be in equal temperament to play with the various rock bands I've been with. The holes, when we get to the bottom, the McClellan's doing pretty good. It's not that much further down, certainly not as bad as that um, old school chanter from the 60s, but it is definitely a wider finger spread. Again, you can see the similarity of the holes on this one coming out a little bit more just to compare. So all of these are great channers, though this one on the right is in standard tuning. I get it around 477 to 480 versus these two that are 466. So I thought you might want to take a look at that. The other thing is that these drone extenders are really doing the business right here and they're kind of flexible. They're a little bit soft and they're holding on to the drones pretty well. I mean, I'm tugging on that quite a bit and it's not coming out. I have the standard kind of drone extenders most people have seen with just the black plastic, but something about them being that firm, they tend to fall out um, and you don't want that at a gig. So these right now with that flexible material seem to be staying in and I didn't have to do any adjustments to this reed whatsoever. And the top is tuning. I think you can see it right there. There's like one line of string and it's right at B flat. Um, the bass again is pretty much right exactly where it needs to be tuning wise. And again, I made no adjustments to the reeds themselves. Not how much air they took, not where the tuning screw is, nada. So the drone extenders are also doing the job. So I think it is a great one-two punch uh, from RG Hardy here with their B flat infinity channer, as well as those drone extenders. Let's have a couple more tunes. Special thanks again to Mr. Jeremy Downs at Lone Star Piper. I had no idea I was going to be able to get my hands on a B-flat Infinity Channer so quickly. It was a lovely surprise. Thank you, my friend. Well, thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you got something out of this video, please think about giving a like, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that bell icon to be notified when I post new videos. I also have a Patreon where as little as a dollar a month goes a really long way to helping support the channel. You'll see names of people scrolling up right now. These are folks that contribute monthly to the channel, and I'd love to add your name to this list. I also teach Skype and online lessons. Go ahead and head over to www.mattpiper.com or email me at the address you see there and uh, we'll get you going. I'm working with folks from all over the planet. I hope to work with you soon. I also have a line of Command Your Bagpipe merchandise with t-shirts and hats and mugs and hoodies and lots of stuff. Go ahead. There's a link in the description below. You can see it right here. Head over, get yourself some bagpipe merchandise and let the world know that you command your bagpipe. All right, everybody. I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper. And until next time, cheers. Cheers.